It is 5.53. Late. I know. Hey! Uh, let's see here. I've got my yogi tea, which I'm having green tea and, well, it's green tea and kombucha uh, tea, so it's, it's really good. It actually kind of reminds me of bubble gum. I don't know how, but the kombucha kind of makes it like naturally sweet or something. And I am in the middle of finishing my whole soy lemon yogurt. Today's weather report, we have a low of 68 degrees, high of 81, currently 70 degrees at 6.48 a.m. Uh, it's going to be mostly sunny, passing clouds, and breezy. Outfit of the day, um, long sleeve Roxy shirt, tank top, oatmeal tank top from Jeans Warehouse. Cut off jean shorts, distressed, Clark sandals. Fossil watch. Now we gym sunglasses. And your outfit is? Uh, well, this is a shirt from uh, Live Aloha. Uh huh. T-shirt company. Docker shorts from Ma uh, Sears and Odukai slippers. Mm -hmm. And your hat? It's from Live Aloha also. Uh -huh. They decked you out. <laughs> they they hooked me up with clothes. All right, I am off. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find some tacos. All right, I'm at Amy's Booth, and there we have the raw tacos. Awesome. Last time, I forgot to mention what I had actually got. Those actually weren't tacos because she was sold out. I ended up getting um, the salad that had the avocado on it. Oh, it was so good. So if she still has the tacos, I'm going to get those. So I got the raw vegan tacos and the faux oatmeal, which is made with quinoa and fruit on top. Uh, now, I had originally tried to get two tacos, two sets of tacos for us, but Amy was sold out already. I mean, that was her last one, so. Well, they well, are good. They're yeah. Delicious. My favorites. Oh, so this that. is the raw vegan taco. Mm -hmm. uh, last week I had the salad, which had the big pieces of avocado on top, but these are really our favorite. And I love that it's wrapped in, I had never experienced having that before, like the, the purple cabbage wrapped as the taco shell. But, that piece off there. <laughs> mm. That's my favorite. Avocado, tomato, a couple different kinds of paste. It's a good thing you're filming me actually eating because people don't believe that I eat. <laughs> They think that I just, uh, I show the film, you know, I've been doing my food vlogging. Uh -huh. They actually, some of them actually think that I just show the food and that I'm not really actually eating. I'm like, start eating. How am I, how am I living then if I'm not eating? How does that make sense? Just eat the whole thing. This is a fetish video. Eating. Oh no. Find my DeVita Solar. What am I gonna do without my sunblock? Well, I'm gonna have to see what Michael brought. He doesn't usually use the DeVita Solar. He just kind of like he has his own. He just uses whatever. So I'm I'm using the Australian Gold, only SPF 8 today because I forgot my DeVita Solar. Um, that's okay though. We'll get through the day. Plus, I'm in the shade most of the time, anyways. Okay, oh, I better get a very leaf juice. There's another one down that way. Ooh la la, look at that weird leaf juice. So delicious. <laughs> oh, that is refreshing. You better have some. It's a good thing Michael is wearing a green shirt that color. Beard leaf color because they just spilt beard leaf to get the juice last on it. <laughs> you 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 do that with anything though. I mean, somehow oh, you, you always with find my a coffee. way. I got coffee <laughs> stained clothes all over that place. And I was just thinking, um, I I really want to. Now this might sound funny, but I really want to take care of your guys' skin. Like I don't care where you live. Like if it's summertime right now, you know, if, you know, for my Aussie, uh, you know, down under <laughs> friends out there. If you're in Australia and you're moving into summer right now, or if it's you know winter time and you're in North America, I want to take care of your skin. So I'm planning some uh, videos for you know skincare, body care, skincare, 
I want to keep you uh, glowing all summer and winter long, all year long. Okay, I've got a quick break here with no one at the table, so I'm gonna try to, um, you know, go over this really quickly because it was requested, you know, like, why didn't I show any of my jewelry last week up close? And that's really just because I I don't like to, you know, always be showing my jewelry on YouTube. It's just, I don't know. Uh, unless I'm, I'm requested to speak about work, I, I usually try not to just because I kind of keep it separate. But um, it was requested that I share some pieces up close, so here we go. Here is uh, one of my newer type designs that I kind of designed for the winter. Swarovski Crystal, Freshwater Pearl, um, Stardust, Fortune Care Gold Fill. We've got matching the earrings there. Um, I like kind of like the nice simple designs are really pretty. Uh, we've got like the Topaz, Pave, Swarovski Crystal. Very sparkly. There's some Volcano. Um, like half in the sun, half in the shade here. So I can't even tell if this is coming up on camera, but that's a really spectacular volcano sort of coloring there. And yeah, so I don't have a whole lot of new designs in this Ross because I've just been, well, swamped with work lately. I haven't had time to make any new ones. Uh, I really like these big old bling Swarovskis there. Pretty. And then on this side, uh, we've got, you know, all of our brass designs here. This is a bracelet that I made a couple weeks ago. So I bang out the brass or the cuff, and then I wire wrap all the Swarovski crystals around the outside there. It's got some charms there. And yeah, so there's the clasp. Uh, got some dragonfly jewelry, because people really like dragonflies out here. And those are the suns that I showed you yesterday, which I want to make some matching stuff to, matching necklaces. Lotus on copper. I showed you those last night, I think, already. Um, matching necklaces to the Swarovskis that were on the other side. Tree, and a tree of life necklace. More dragonflies. I really like this one with the sparrow and the lotus. That, by the way, is our neighbor over there blowing his conch shell. <laughs> this one is cool. I like ones that kind of like have multiple pieces that drape down. Like sparrow and dragonflies. I kind of like asymmetrical stuff too. So some different things there. There's. Uh, Kind of fern and leaf sort of design. I like these daisies too. Those are fun. Kind of reminds me of if you guys know of Lucky Jewelry. That's sort of um, you know a style that I, I get inspired by. And something that I do really like is these really simple, like rounded out. Uh, it's like hollowed out uh, brass. Michael made these earrings. I just love them because he made them so they like they have like a brushed finish. Just like really simple and cool. I, I like uh, you know that's again something that reminds me of like the lucky style jewelry. Um, up here I have another sun on a banged out um, sort of Omega style piece of brass. Oh, and these are adorable too. The little heart padlock and key. Ugh, I just think these are so cute. And Michael really needs to get working here. You're getting low on your designs. Did you know that? I gotta make more. I gotta put you to work. Ooh, and this. Yep. Ooh. I like that a lot. I really like medallions. That's an awesome one. Nice work on the patina. Thank you. I like it a lot. Jealous. <laughs> see, we <laughs> we got we spy on each other in the house. And see what what the other ones work. I wanna on. I wanna tell people if you're making jewelry, if you ever sell jewelry, people will copy your designs, and it'll be pretty obvious after a while when they come up and how they look at it indicates yeah. that they're obviously copying. Yeah. People have asked if we have a website if if our designs are online at all, and well, they're on Etsy. But but like, how many are on there? How many have you put on there? Uh, you know, I'd five. say at best five, <laughs> maybe six. Happened. Our business is really done locally. We, we really hardly sell online. Uh, we started in Etsy a while back because there's so many requests from you guys actually. So uh, I've just really slacked on keeping up on putting things on there. If we come up with some kind of interesting designs or something, 
I'll try to post um, more regularly on there. So anyways, I guess I better get back to work too. So there's the Valley College. Make sure all up here. Yeah, we can go. And there's the swap meet. We're all done, packed up, paid for next week. So overall, did you enjoy the day? Uh, yeah, I like it when people appreciate my work and you know recognize that there's work that's gone into it and it's not import. So yeah. All right, so now we're gonna go find you some food. I need a scone. I saw someone eating a scone, and all of a sudden I got a scone. Now I can't quit talking about it. <laughs> going to down to earth health food store. So I've been asked where I purchase my little amber glass bottles, and this is where I get them. Uh, down to earth and they have cobalt blue ones they've got you know the kind with the droppers they've got the spray bottles uh, like I used this one in my last uh, vanilla body mist video and then they've got like a bigger size so anyways I'm just showing you what we have at our health food store but check your local health food stores because a lot of them will stock things like this all right which Italian soda should I get blood orange blood orange okay definitely I gotta get the one in the back. Can you grab the one in the back? Yeah. Thank you. Oh man, you gotta try that. And I got a cute little jar that I have a project all planned for. Michael's having potato chips. Anytime I ever say anything about, um, you know, he loves potatoes by the way. Like anything potatoes. French fries, potato chips, uh, you know, home fries, whatever it is. So every time I say something about his potatoes or his potato habit, he says, what? It's a vegetable. It's a vegetable. Uh, yeah, he's eating french fries. I'm like, Ahem. I, it's a vegetable. That, that's not the exact kind of vegetable I was trying to get you to eat. <laughs> Here, have one. No, no, thank you. <laughs> These are our bosses here. Yeah, this is who we actually work for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we like to think we work for ourselves, but actually it's them. Isn't that right, Mitzi? Moose, moose. I know I've had some people ask, who are the pigs? Oh yeah, these are them. Who hadn't even made it in the door and they're screaming for food. <laughs> Oh jeez, bite my camera. Oh, you're so cute. They don't really bite. Chin rubs. Sweet babies.